hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello to you this is your girl mommy so true how y'all doing on this beautiful day i'm excited to be here with you you guys i woke up and i'm feeling great and i'm just like yo i have this on my mind i need to talk to my beautiful people out there because I feel so empowered today and oh my god we are still thriving you guys if you're new to my channel I am just a survivor of NPD I am you know an ex-victim I've been victimized by narcissistic abuse but that is no longer that the, that is no longer part of my narrative the story has been changed I am continuing on a new journey full of enlightenment full of love full of light full of of joy you know every day is not the easiest for me but every day I am choosing healing every day I am choosing to push forward every day I am choosing to address my feelings whether they're high or low and every day I am pushing I am telling myself that I will make it I am telling myself that I am more than enough and I know that I am more than a conqueror and I need all of my listeners all of my subscribers to know that all of my beautiful people all the ones that reach out to me you guys need to know that y'all are golden Y'all did the best thing y'all could have done by walking away to those people who have. And I'm even talking to those who are programming it in their minds to get away. You may not be in position to run away right now, but you're working on it. You're praying about it. You're working on it. You're making steps. You're thinking about it. You know, so I am praying for you from afar. I'm sending you so much love and so much light. But today, you guys, I am coming to talk to you about how walking away was the best thing you could have done on so many different levels this was the best thing we could have done you guys we stepped into a situation with someone who did not <laughs> they did not care the way that we care they do not want the same future that we want they do not want the same things as you that's why they future fate that's why they promised you all these things that they could not stand on because this is not them. They're just not you. They're not wife material. They're not husband material. And it showed. It don't matter how long you were with them. It could have been five days. It could have been five years. It could have been 15 years. It could have been freaking 25. It don't matter. At the end of the day, these people have all shown that who they are is who they are. And no matter what we've given, no matter what we've sacrificed, they're just who they are. And the best thing at any point of our lives we could do is to walk away and to set ourselves free and to set them free. To set ourselves free is number one in priority in my eyes, because first of all, it's about damn time we start putting ourselves first. First of all, it is about time. We start putting ourselves first because we've been giving, giving, giving ourselves too much, evidently too much to the wrong people. And, and, and never is it healthy to give yourself too much anyway. So it's about time we correct that behavior. So this was the best thing we could have done because walking away means that you are now seeing that. Dang it. You gave a lot and you forgot you. What about loving you? You have so much love you could have been given to yourself, but you've been so focused on this person. But you freed your mind. And that is the best thing that you could have done by making the decision to walk away, by, by putting it in your mind that you are going to leave because you know this is not <laughs> it. You know this is not the end for you. You know there is no way. You are supposed to be living in that house with that person who is treating you the way that they are, talking to you the way that they talking to you. You know there is no way you will ever have any peace when every other day you're getting attacked through text messages the way that you are. The best thing you can do at this point in your life is to walk away. The best thing you could do at this point in your life is to take your dignity and walk away. It's to stand on those morals that you carry. The narcissist knows you're loyal. The narcissist knows you're faithful. The narcissist knows that you're one of a kind. They know that you're rare. So the best thing you can do is to know it now. 
The best thing you can do is know that now. And you can only know that now if you walk away. If you walk away and protect what's left of you, that's the best thing you can do right now. If you say, you know what? I have nothing more else to give. Whatever left I do have to give, I need to give it to me. That's the best thing you can do right now. Because this person has shown you over and over and over and over again, they're not getting it. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. But you got it. So the best thing you can do is walk away. The best thing you can do is walk away for their sake. Your job is done. You and this person encountered each other for a season of your life and that season is over with. Your job is done. You came to show them a different life. You came to show them all this that you've shown them. They saw it. Whether they're going to take heed to it or that ain't got nothing to do with you now. Whether they're going to regret it when you leave, that ain't got nothing to do with you now. Whether they miss it or not, that ain't got nothing to do with you now. What matters is you came and you put into their world what you put into their world. That was your assignment. So now the best thing you can do is pack up your little bags and move on with your little life. Because there's a lot more to you. There's a lot more to your life left. The best thing you could have done was walk away. As painful as walking away is, my God, it's so, it's so painful. It's so painful, especially for those of you who have spent years with this person. Those of you who have spent years building a family with this person, walking away is just so freaking hard. Especially if you got to look at those babies in the face and walk away with them and go do it by yourself. But nothing and nobody in this world is ever going to be worth your peace of mind, your joy, and your happiness. A narcissist is never going to give you any of those things that you deserve. And that is your joy. That is your happiness. You've given so much of your time. You've given so much of your love. Free that person now. That's the best thing you can do is let them go. Let them go out here and get what they deserve. Don't worry about it being good or bad. That don't have nothing to do with you. The best thing you can do now is focus on you and walk away. Walking away is painful. Those of us that love those people that we fell in love with, walking away is painful. Having to make the decision to turn your back and actually leave them can be so painful. I, I went through a major depression when I was trying to make the, the decision of, oh my God, am I going to leave and just never turn back? Or am I going to sit around and wait and pray and be hopeful for the rest of my life? Walking away is painful. Walking away from my family after I realized that they'd been abusing me narcissistically. That was painful to know that I cannot talk to my siblings like I used to, to know that I can never have that relationship with them because I'm scapegoated. It's painful to know that they don't know the truth. They don't see the truth and they're blinded to the truth because of the abuse. It's so painful. It's painful when you have to walk away from family members and loved ones. It's painful, y'all. It's painful. And I'm not the only one that feel that way. Listen to my girl, Ashley Taylor, talk about it. You're going to have to do what's best for you, even when it feels like shit. You have to understand that what you tolerate and allow in your life is what you will get. When someone shows you who they are, when someone shows you that they don't care, when someone manipulates you, when someone is back and forth with you, hot and cold with you, whatever it, the circumstances may be, walk away. Do what you have to do. And it's not going to feel good. It's going to hurt because there's a bond there. There's some sort of bond there. I understand. But you have to. You have to. You can't continue to let people walk and stomp all over your heart and make you feel badly about yourself because they are unhealed. You can't do it. It's not fair to you. It's not even fair to them.
take a stand for yourself. Even when it hurts to let go, take a stand for yourself and walk away. You guys know me. That was super touching. I had to share that with y'all because like I always say, we're not alone. You're not alone. And what you're going through is very real, is very realistic. Nothing about this is a joke. You cannot make any of this up. You know, the best thing you can do is walk away for yourself, first and foremost, for yourself and also for that person. Maybe you really do care about them that much. So walk away, let them go because they're not good for you and you're not good for them because nothing you're ever going to do is going to ever change who they are because what they are is a disease and what they are is <laughs> spiritually troubled. And you have to literally let go and let God when you're dealing with this. And I really truly hope that this helps someone. I really hope that this helps you move forward and push through and understand what you're dealing with. Because I had it twisted at some point and I struggled with it on my own. So I know what you're feeling. If this is you, I know where you're at, but you can make it. You got this. Let's thrive together. Like I said, I am here for you. If you can't book a session, stay in touch with me via text message. The information is in the description. You guys, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching. Again, this is your girl, Mommy So True. Take care. Until next time, y'all.